she told her she has 15 minutes to gather her items. Have you been arrested before for this type of? No, never. Um, I just don't have anywhere to go, and I'm getting gang stopped, and I'm getting um, gas and So they, those people, got called to have me move because they're over at the shelter and they're talking on sounds and they're harassing me every day. Were you in that shelter there? No, I'm not allowed to be there because everybody else is there. Um, I've been, living, I've been stopped.
so they have, they up. need to clean up. So okay, all I'm fine. asking you to do is just grab your belongings mm -hmm. and just move them, okay, for That's me, fine. but you can't be here. And as long as you do that, then we'll be on our way and then you can do what you gotta do. Okay. Is, that a, is that good? That's okay, thank you for your cooperation, I appreciate that. We're calling right now. We're calling right now to see if uh, Lhasa is about to talk to you, okay? Are they you don't tell me, actually, they're part of the gate stopping to okay. that's going okay. on. Okay. All right. They, they haven't helped me at all. What about the circuit team? They're helping me that because I think we have to go back. That's really bad. Does the circle team come out and talk to you? Uh, they do not help me either. I would need help from an actual, uh, something that's not connected to uh, the people that are in charge. Cardboard and all that kind of stuff? No, I'll put it in the recycling. Well, they can pick that up. They will, though. It makes it, it makes it easier for you. I just want you to focus on your belongings. I don't want you to lose it. So focus on your belongings. And whatever you don't want, just leave there and don't take it.
We're good. Is there any comment you want to say? No, thank you guys. You have, um, if I could get housing, but without being, you know, in with like drug addicts and stuff like that, I, I, I'm available to work a real job too. I used to work in a kitchen and I also, used to, uh, you know, I, I had real, in the real world, I really worked a real job. So I would like the opportunity to do that and I could get m um, money of mine sent to me from my reservation. Um, I have the cards and stuff. So if I can get a mailing address or here, if I could get help with that, I live in Venice. I'm staying here. I'm, I'm waiting for services that don't include being housed, you know, in with people that are on drugs like this. And sick. Maybe that's what it is. Is that what happened on the Main Street shelter, the bridge home? I, I don't know. I never, I never got help there. Um, I never, I, I never got help with anybody. Um, since Rose, since St. Joseph's, uh, six years ago. But I mean, like I said, I was I was subjected to having to be outside uh, for other reasons, a game stalking situation. And stuff. That's what I've been told. Are you Native American? I'm half. Yeah. My mother's white and my dad's native. Where'd you grow up? Um, I grew up in Connecticut. And um, moved here from Brooklyn, like New York, like uh, 14 years ago. But I lived in I lived in Venice for like 11. Um, I had an apartment on Wade in Venice. Really? Yeah. And then um, and then you know I I lost my job, and then I well I got kind of pushed out of my job, and moved out of my apartment, and then I ended up here out on the streets for a while. And uh, and then you know uh, I know a lot of people. Cool, but I mean, I survived surprisingly. <laughs> so, but I really am trying to get something else going. So, that's about it. But I, I'm not, you know, I try to clean up and I'm not a criminal. So, I don't steal. I don't like. So, if anybody knows the program that's even, even if it's religious bound, like if it's like, you know, stay with people that are like, you know, Christian or whatever and you want to study ideology of that, I wouldn't mind being involved in that kind of thing. The only programs they have for homeless people are like out here, like and a lot of people are sick and mentally mentally like incapable of living properly. So the programs are very focused on helping them, but not a normal person. And I'm a normal person. So it's very difficult for them to think that I'm in I have it rough enough to help. And I think that's what it comes down to. They're like, oh she doesn't need help because she, she'll be okay, but I kind of fell through the cracks for years, and it's getting to the point where I'm like, oh my god, it's been this long, and everybody I know is like gone or in this program, or somewhere. Have you been out here in the streets for all those years? Yeah, I was at the beach camping. I mean, I've, I've been trying, I went to, you know, I've traveled around trying to just survive. But around it? Flies. So yeah, I was on flower when they had, you know, remember, like, the gay guys, and they, I don't know if you know. When they had the encampment there? Yeah. A flower? I, had, I remember I that. I stayed there years ago um, with my ex-boyfriend, who, like, who is, you know, doing 
doing his own thing. Uh, but I, unfortunately, uh, you know, when you partner up with people and it doesn't work out, uh, it can really hold you back. We'll leave at that. But the people that they're talking about, uh, you know, How can we get a hold of you or them if somebody well, sees this? I don't have a phone. Um, I'm not going to stay here. I guess I, I've been staying, you know, within the limits. You know, I took down my thing. So I don't know. I'll be around. Mm -hmm. You're always riding around. So. Yeah. Now, I saw that when the, when they first approached you, those other police officers, you said you were going to stay. But then the last one, you seemed to comply with him. Well, he was more, he was a, he was a real one. <laughs> yeah. I feel like there's different types of people. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. But um, the other ones were were from here. I see. So you you kind of know him. A little well, I don't bit. know. I just knew that. I don't. I don't know. I just knew. Him, uh -huh. I guess. I guess he had a better Plus approach. He's a, yeah. His approach. Well, I mean, they were fine too, but it was kind of like it's at this point in here. There's only certain that are outside right now and I'm one of them and they know that it's a few, it's impossible not to know that because a lot of people are but they have people that aren't even from here inside here and they're running around trying to make things difficult for people here now being part of the um, Native American don't they have programs for you or some kind of help I um I need a trusting I don't know I've been trying to look uh, but the problem is my life the way it is like trying to take care of this stuff mm -hmm. and trying to uh, you know I gotta finish packing up actually but like um, I got a hold of my tribe to get money and then my card got canceled oh you were in the car before yes do they take oh your card or your car my card got canceled uh, yeah okay. uh, so I don't have any then my my GR got canceled because they're not letting me have money so I need to, I need help in a way that, I don't know if I can get help that way. Do you go eat at the restaurant on Rose? Um, I did, but there's too many people that, like, want to bother me there. Oh, really? Yeah. I thought you were allowed to have, like, up to 60 gallons worth of stuff. Oh, I don't want stuff. I just want Or items. I just want it to lay down. It seems like this is probably 60 gallons. I think they're from. I think they're from That's another Long state. Beach. Have you met? Have you been back to Connecticut? No, I haven't. I've lived here long, a long time, so it's not like. Uh, but I don't. So yeah, that's about it. I I'm I'm gonna stop talking because I want to finish doing it. Okay. Well, nice talking yeah, to you. Good luck to you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. But yeah. If you know anybody, any okay. any sources like that, that would be helpful. Okay. I'm not going to go for myself on the street. <laughs>